Awesome. So, uh, team, we just launched um, a new feature that's available for beta. Um, it's the ability to to propagate the service from uh, one stage template to another. So the benefits of this feature is you're able to you know select one service like you see here, and now you'll be able to kind of propagate that input to the subsequent services. So how does this impact the end user? So one thing that you'll get is the ability to define the service once in the run form and then have those inputs propagate down to the subsequent stages. Um, and this could be a, a stage template. Uh, it could be um, a stage template in a regular stage. It could be a stage propagating, a fixed stage propagating into a template. Um, you also have the permutation of um, two different um, stage templates, right? So I could have a uh, stage template one be this deploy to dev stage one, and I could potentially have a different template. As long as the service is a runtime input, I can propagate the inputs from this template into the next template. So this is not constrained by the same template being used across multiple stages. You can do the same template, you can mix and match templates, but the fundamental idea of this service propagation is so that an end user only needs to define the service once and the inputs would pass through the form. And what you'll see in the run form is exactly that, right? Because you see here, I have my service fixed and my artifact fixed. All I need to do is pass in the tag if I, unfortunately, my delegate just uh, died. But um, the idea is you can pass in the tag and you'd be able to run this pipeline um, with those service uh, inputs. But that's uh, the, the, the new kind of template propagation feature, template service propagation feature. Um, we'll have the docs um, published relatively soon. Um, please reach out if you have any questions. Uh, it, the feature is currently in beta behind a, a feature flag. Thank you.